Microsoft has just announced the second wave of games that will hit its Xbox Game Pass subscription service before the end of the month. It's an eclectic lineup to say the least, and one that packs in what could prove to be genuine gems that may adorn our best Xbox Series X games list someday. Probably the most exciting of the bunch is Manor Lords, developed by Slavic Magic that's due out as a day one exclusive on April 26th. This grand medieval strategy game is the top wish-listed game on Steam and features sweeping tactical skirmishes, social simulation elements, and complex city building. When you have more players pining for your game than the upcoming Hades 2, you know you're doing something right as a developer. Before that there are several other titles coming to Game Pass that look well worth sinking your teeth into. The intriguing Harold Halibut hit the service yesterday, and it looks absolutely fascinating. It's a beautiful adventure with startlingly original stop-motion style visuals and endearing diorama virtual sets. Set in the subaquatic city of Fedora hundreds of years in the future, this adventure game's unique art style looks truly compelling. Over the next couple of days, Tower Defense sequel orcs must die 300 heroes, arriving on April 23rd, quickly followed by Souls-like adventure Another Crab's Treasure. And yes, it actually does let you play as a crustacean in the form of an ass-kicking hermit crab called Krill. Another roguelike also hits Game Pass on April 30th. Have a Nice Death is a game that rocks some serious Hollow Knight vibes. Just replace the Balectic Bug Warrior with a cutesy Grim Reaper. If you're a subscriber to the base level Game Pass core, a trio of titles are headed to the cheapest level of the subscription service on April 23rd. They're actually pretty exciting, too. Highly rated co-op shooter dwarf in Deep Rock Galactic, stylish slow-mo FPS spin-off Super Hot, Mind Control Delete and Racer Wreckfest are all worth checking out. Upgrade your life with a daily dose of the biggest tech news, lifestyle hacks, and our curated analysis. Be the first to know about cutting-edge gadgets and the hottest deals. I'm actually playing Wreckfest on my Steam Deck OLED at the moment, and it's a surprisingly ace throwback to Destruction Derby that combines races against aggressive AI drivers and full-on last car standing arena battles. I think it's a fantastic racing game that has flown under many players' radars. This is definitely one of the most varied Game Pass lineups I've seen in a while, and it's intriguing enough that I might actually turn on my Series X for the first time in months. Dave is a computing editor at Tom's Guide and covers everything from cutting-edge laptops to ultra-wide monitors. When he's not worrying about dead pixels, Dave enjoys regularly rebuilding his PC for absolutely no reason at all. In a previous life, he worked as a video game journalist for 15 years, with bylines across GamesRadar Plus, PC Gamer, and TechRadar. Despite owning a graphics card that costs roughly the same as your average used car, he still enjoys gaming on the go and is regularly glued to his Switch. Away from tech, most of Dave's time is taken up by walking his husky, buying new TVs at an embarrassing rate and obsessing over his beloved arsenal. Is Xbox Game Studios going to become a third-party publisher? Let's predict the future five must-play games featured in the Xbox Developer Direct. From Indiana Jones to avowed Google Gemini now lets you tag in YouTube to find the perfect video. Here's how Tom's Guide is part of Future PLC, an international media group and leading digital publisher. Visit our corporate site. Microsoft has announced the second wave of games coming to Game Pass in April 2024. Highlights include Orcs Must Die 100 Heroes and the hotly anticipated Manor Lords. Out today, April 16th, is Slowbro's narrative game Harold Halibut, Cloud, PC, and Xbox Series XS as a day one Game Pass launch. IGN's Harold Halibut Review returned on August 10th. We called it a wholesome, handcrafted adventure with plenty of heart. Tomorrow, April 17th, Robot Entertainment's Orcs Must Die 3 got a 7 out of 10 in IGN's review. We said it was very familiar to players of the second game but still a fun and goofy action slash tower defense challenge. A day later, on April 18th, EA Sports NHL 24 Console launches on Game Pass Ultimate via EA Play, just in time for the Stanley Cup playoffs. NHL 24's new gameplay features reinvigorate the on-ice action, but its collection of unimproved game modes has grown increasingly boring with each passing year, we said in IGN's NHL 24 review. Iuden Chronicle, 100 Heroes, Cloud, Console, and PC hits Game Pass as a day one launch on April 23rd. Rabbit and Bear's Grand JRPG is set in a handcrafted 2.5D world, 
and lets you assemble a six-party team from a cast of over a hundred heroes. Another Game Pass Day 1 launch is another Crab's Treasure, Cloud, Console, and PC. Out on April 25th, Agro Crab Games Souls-like Adventure is set in a crumbling underwater world. You play Krill the Hermit Crab. April 26th sees the launch of Slavic Magic's Manor Lords, Game Preview, PC, as a Day 1 Game Pass release. Manor Lords is a medieval strategy game featuring in-depth city building, large-scale tactical battles, and complex economic and social simulations. It's the top wishlist game on Steam, ahead of the likes of Hades 2 and Hollow Knight, Silksong. And finally, rounding out this month is Magic Design Studios Have a Nice Death, Cloud, Console, and PC, which hits Game Pass on April 30th. IGN gave Have a Nice Death an 8 out of 10 in our review. Have a Nice Death is a punishing but satisfying roguelike with some extremely tough boss fights, but it could be a bit less stingy with long-term progression. Meanwhile, Microsoft announced more games coming to Game Pass Core on April 23rd. Three games are added to the library for subscribers. Six games leave Game Pass on April 30th. As always, you can save 20% on your purchase to keep them in your library. Wesley is the UK news editor for IGN. Find him on Twitter at, at WIP100. You can reach Wesley at Wesley underscore Impool at IGN.com or confidentially at WIP100 at Protonomy.